Well, it's one of those annoying things for anyone who has a long commute. Traffic lights that seem to turn red at the wrong times and stay green for far too long at other times. Rest assured, there are experts working on it right now. They're engineers from the University of Toronto, and they've combined artificial intelligence with game theory to come up with a smart solution. Christina Stevens has the story. It can be enough to make you want to scream, stuck at endless traffic lights during rush hour. When the queue gets longer, the green time will be extended. Now, University of Toronto researchers have developed smart traffic lights. And the first virtual test on 60 Toronto intersections found they can cut wait times at lights by 40 percent. Currently, most traffic lights are on timers or controlled by an expensive centralized network. With this system, dubbed Marlin, each intersection is controlled right there in real time. Video cameras that can sense that traffic patterns and act accordingly by uh, optimizing the, the green times for each direction. Marlin uses artificial intelligence and works in concert with neighboring intersections to keep things moving. It's based on a concept known as game theory. Picture a team playing hockey. Each player makes decisions not just on what's best for them, but also the rest of the team, knowing when and where to pass. That's how this works. And like humans, Marlin learns. So the more it does it, the better it gets. The traffic light keeps adjusting itself, its timing every second. Like every second there is a new decision. And then observing the impact of that on, on traffic. It's instantaneous. And Marlin's ability to cut your wait time at a red light by 40% translates into an average of about a 25% savings on total travel time. And cutting the commute is about more than just driver frustration. In the Toronto Hamilton area alone, studies suggest congestion costs the Canadian economy anywhere from six to $11 billion a year. Talks with a number of cities are underway, and if they get enough green lights, they're hoping to keep traffic rolling right across the country. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.